You know, we've been talking a lot about uh, how this is this season, especially this year, I think. Uh, it's just going to be very busy for those traveling. And uh, this morning, we want to put a spotlight on Paralyzed Veterans of America. And they have a special warning this morning about veterans traveling and what we need to know and, and what we can maybe do to help those with disabilities. We have Charles Brown, the national president of Paralyzed Veterans of America, joining us. Good to see you, Charles. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me here. So we've talked a lot about this already, that I, I think that the country is uh, traveling a lot more. We are getting back into the really busy uh, time. But but what is it, Charles, that we need to know, uh, certainly from the Paralyzed Veterans uh, America group, that you want to get the word out this morning that maybe uh, we need to be reminded of? Well, I'd like to let you know that air travel uh, is often inhumane and dangerous for people with disabilities. Um, when I say that, I don't say it lightly. Um, for me, you can't probably can't see it, but I'm in a wheelchair. I've been in a wheelchair for 35 years. And when it comes to air travel, I have to be taken from my wheelchair and put onto an aisle chair. Um, that transfer can be bad. The aisle chairs are often small. They don't really fit as well. They're often broken. But then you have to be dragged down through the aisles of the aircraft, which we all know are narrow. You end up being damaged during that time period. And then that transfer from that seat back over to another seat is another time to get injured. But our chairs are taken from us. They're put into the belly of the aircraft with luggage. If you've ever flown, how luggage can be handled, or, or the wheelchairs are handled pretty much the same way. We often get them back, back damaged or broken, and, and that's a real problem for us. It, it leaves us without our, our normal transportation. Or, it's like our legs being broken. But also for me, uh, it's inhumane because the bathrooms are not a wheelchair accessible. During a flight, I can't go to the bathroom. I have to dehydrate myself before I fly, and I often don't eat about 18 hours before I fly because I don't want to have that problem where I have to use the restroom during flying. So it's a real problem for me, and I, this is why it's a passion to make sure things get fixed. It's pretty shocking that these are, are still the conditions. Um, you know, where do you see the future? How fast, you know, can people help and that we can maybe change this? We can change things fast. I mean, it, it's a matter of making sure that Congress understands that they have to uh, have better enforcement, not just, you know, through the DOT, but, you know, they have to make the laws that change. PBA was involved back uh, 35 years ago when we got the Air Carriers Access Act uh, uh, enacted. But during that time period, there haven't been major changes made to it. And there's some, time, there's some major changes we need to have for this Amendments Act to be passed. Um, one is to make sure that the aisleways are wider so wheelchairs can roll down through them. The other one is to make sure that the bathrooms are accessible. And then the other one is to make sure that there's a space on the aircraft for wheelchairs to ride in and stay in, much like you do with a bus or on a train. For people wanting to, to find out more, to hear more about the struggles, to see how they can help, where is the best place for them to maybe get started and maybe connect with, you know, certainly if they have a loved one facing this as well? So if you really have this issue or you want to help us out, go to pba.org slash air travel, sign the petition, tell Congress it's time to make these rights, these civil rights inclusive for all. Also, while you're there, we have resources that show you, you know, what it's like to travel with a disability or especially in a wheelchair. And also, if you have a disability and you've gone through these issues, you can actually add your story and help us take these things to Congress and let them know that they need to make these changes. It's their, their job to do these things, make things right. Well, you've certainly opened my eyes uh, about this this morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We wish you all the best uh, in really trying to make this better you know, for, for everyone. And uh, we'll make sure that this info gets on our website too, okay? Thank you very much. And thank you for having me. And thank you for having the PBA with you also. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much.